Hello, 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 familia. Welcome, welcome. My name is Magdalene Jan. And if you're new, welcome to the fam. Please don't forget to like and subscribe because we're always here having a good time. And come visit me on TikTok and Instagram. I'm there daily. And of course, welcome back to my oldies. But goodies. So fam, you guys really, really wanted to see a lip swatch of these. I got legit like 10 requests. Even if I get one request, I'll most likely do it. Thank you so much for asking me to do this because Anastasia just released these lip velvet lipsticks in six shades. So initially I thought it was gonna be a bunch of shades, but when I saw the six, I'm like, okay, that's doable, it's manageable, I'll definitely do it. The lipstick comes, you know, in their typical black box, and this is how it looks. Very pretty, very chic. Wow, this is beautiful. And let's see, let's see. It's very big, the packaging. Okay. Cool. It's like a velvet matte mousse. Oh, it smells like their old school lipstick. Oh my gosh, this takes me back to 2018. Like for real. But oh my God, okay, okay, okay. So this hair, there's like a hair coming down. As you guys know, I love doing lip swatches for you in studio lighting and in daylight. I of course have nothing on my lips so you can see the true color in both lightings. I don't ever add like a lip liner or anything. What I'm gonna do right now is lip swatch all of these bad boys and then towards the end of the video, we talk about it. I tell you how they look how they feel i'm thinking if i'm gonna do a eat test i'm not sure because these are velvet matte so because they're matte there should be some sort of long wear so i don't know depending my seat's all messed up depending how they feel if they do dry down or not i'll make that determination later without further ado let's get started by the way the lawnmower is going on so if you hear that noise apologies but this is a perfect time the sun's here and we gotta take advantage especially if it's in the winter time you know okay for real let's go all right fam this is the order we're gonna go in lightest to darkest these colors are very pretty i didn't realize how beautiful they are look that's kind of lightest to darkest i'm not sure and then the names are here in the bottom of the packaging so let's lip swatch starting off with the first one peachy nude This is the shade Peachy Nude. And in daylight, this is Peachy Nude. Moving right along to Pure Hollywood. This is the shade Pure Hollywood. And in daylight, this is Pure Hollywood. Moving right along to the shade Crush. This is the shade Crush. And in daylight, this is Crush. Moving right along to the shade Kiss. This is the shade Kiss.
And in daylight, this is Kiss. On to the next one is Peach Amber. This is the shade Peach Amber. And in daylight, this is Peach Amber. Last but not least is Parchment. This is the shade Parchment. And in daylight, this is Parchment. Okay, okay, let's get situated here. Sixth lip swatched in, but let me give you info about this and then let's talk about these bad boys. The new ABH Lip Velvet Liquid Lipstick retail for $24. They come in six shades. This is a velvet smooth lip mousse with the weightless full pigment true color matte cushion, comfortable wear and a smoothing lip finish. The formula is a liquid lip. I purchased mine at Sephora, but they're available at Ulta also. All right, now that we have all the deets, the first thing that caught my eye was the shade. When I saw six shades, online they look a lot lighter than they look in person. Even the lightest shade, I think, is peachy white. It's not light. You know how there's those light shades that on your skin tone, if you're like medium to tan or deeper skin tone, you look like you have chalk on. I really thought that this first shade was gonna make me look very chalky. Yeah, it's a little lighter than I'm used to, but I didn't look chalky, which means like their lightest shade is not really that, that light. I really like that because I feel like every nude shade that is here will fit a lot of skin tones. Even the deeper shades are just like a nice pop of color. Like this is the deepest shade and look it looks like a terracotta shade on my skin tone these are very very pigmented they don't glide as well as I would like to I felt like the applicator and the product like too much product comes out and it kind of gets goopy on your lips if you have small lips like me you'll see it more than if you have bigger lips because you'll have more space to work with so just the FYI that didn't bother me but I just wasn't expecting to kind of do like this motion I thought they were just gonna glide like that they really don't glide I mean now thinking about it they're like a velvet mousse so these types of textured formulas are thicker so they're not like a glidey type of thing so maybe I just had other expectations it's very lightweight on the lips you don't really feel it but it does kind of goop on when you apply it how it kind of comes out of the packaging. Not too big of a deal, but it was something that caught my eye, you know? The applicator, I really like that it has this nice angle and it's thin, so it tapers up, which really fits, look, on your lip extremely, extremely well. It was easy to apply, it wasn't really that difficult. The applicator, I feel like, is a little flimsy. It could be a good thing or a bad thing because it just moves with the shape of your lips. Or if you're rough-handed like me, I was kind of like, oh wait. Honestly, it depends on like your way of doing makeup and seeing makeup. I just like to express and explain how. But my first initial thoughts were, I like the Dofa, it just, it moves a lot. It could be good because it did move well with my lips. Therefore, I really didn't mess up. Like I was able to apply very, very easily because the applicator was just like you know and it's small too a small applicator is good because it really lets you get into your lines therefore you don't really need a lip liner because you're able to line your lips nice and sharply which is what i love so much i probably wouldn't use a lip liner if i'm using like the last three shades the first three shades i probably would use like a dark brown lip liner and then blend it in with any of these shades i do feel a little old school though i feel like right now what's in is lip oils lip stains 
lip glosses something easy not really like a full pigmented lip i personally will always love a full pigmented lip i don't know why i was expecting something else maybe i was expecting more of a gloss satin velvet type of not gloss but i don't know something a little bit maybe like a little more lightweight i had other expectations to tell you the truth i'm like reviewing this i'm like wait i really thought this was like a whole nother product but anyway it's okay you know that happens let's see if it transfers because it's supposed to be a velvet matte it doesn't feel matte at all and let's see oh oh this really transfers like no other look oh it's gone should we let it dry hold on you know what let me tell you the time it's three o'clock it's like 3 20. i'll probably give it maybe like 10 minutes to see if it dries look at the swatches you see how pigmented they are and you see just every single shade is very different you see they all have like a good tone a good color i really like that that was the most impressive thing about these it should have a good range and array of new shades for everyone but i do want to show you here in sunlight how the shades look the undertones are all different they're all beautiful very very pigmented you see like the moussey look and feel it doesn't look as smooth but that's where the pigment is i would say the last three shades are my favorite because i just feel like it's the perfect winter shade or like the perfect pop of color on your lip doesn't give me a matte feel it does feel hydrating so that's really nice at this point usually when i swatch things my lips feel a little bit raw because I just been removing it but they feel very hydrated so that's a, a really good thing so do I like them I like them I think they worked out well you do get the quality you do get the pigment you do get that velvet mousse feel and look but I buy these again I don't think I would buy like all of them I probably would buy one because the shades are that beautiful ABH does great makeup you'll always get a good quality product let's just see how the lip dries it's not drying I could just already feel it look so it is more of that velvet mousse and those moussey textured lip products, they don't really dry. These are literally reminding me of these NYX ones, the Smooth Whip, exactly. I was like, it reminds me of something and the smell is exactly like this. Yeah, yep. NYX is more potent, like the smell is sweeter. Oh my God, they smell the same. Oh my gosh, this is so similar. Look at this dope foot though. What? Yeah, girl, we have a dupe, you see? It's like... Mm-hmm. What shade is this? Teddy Fluff. Oh my god, I was using Teddy Fluff so much. Let's just see the last one. Oh, the ABH are a little, like, you see, they're a little drier. They're not as shiny as the Dicks. Formula is very, very, very similar. The smell's the same. The Dofa same. Oh my god, yeah, we got a very similar product there. I knew it reminded me of something. I was like, you know how smells always bring back memories? So it's been like, I think it's been like 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Let's see. Yeah, you see, it does transfer. It does dry down, but not matte as in long wear. It's going to last all day long through some food. Or maybe should I go get some food? JK, JK, we are going to eat. <laughs> Why not? I ended up getting some Thai food. I wanted some Colombian badly, but that place is really far. I'm going to have one of me, my culture pops. These culture pops are bomb. I told you in the vlog, I stopped drinking soda. So I replaced them with these sort of soda thingies now. And it's been a good replacement. So I got some spicy chicken noodles. It's so funny. I grew up with no spice, you know, because being Central American, we don't eat spicy food. But now I'm in love with spicy food. It's like an adult thing. I'll put spicy on everything. Not a lot, but you know enough. Oh, wait. Before we start. Oh my God, this one's moving. This is the last tap I did. So let's see how it is. First bite, mm. I have a few Thai places around me that are pretty good. I haven't been to this one in such a long time. It's really good. Today's Monday. I didn't film all weekend. That hasn't happened in a long time. I didn't film or edit. Usually I do one or the other, but I took it completely off. I felt a little guilty, you know. I always feel guilty when I don't work, but I'm glad I did. Oh my God, my boobies are out. Today I have so much energy. And I was in the mood to film, you know? The sun has moved now. It used to like be gone by this time. It's 4.30, no, 20 minutes. It would be pitch black, but it no longer is pitch black until like maybe 5.15, 5.20. And you guys know I've been vlogging. Vlogging has truly been such a game changer. I love it. Just wipe. Oh, wow. It's gone. Oh, me estoy enchilando. I love that this plate has green bell peppers and red ones or orange ones. Red ones? Mm-hmm. We are done. Look. It doesn't last. Because they're all like nude shades, you can eat and it's not going to get messy and look really bad. Because look. 
So not bad. So it did not pass the E test. Let's go back to the outro. Let me know your thoughts on this. Let me know, did you pick any of these up? Are you planning on picking them up? Let me know which one's your favorite shade. I told you guys my favorites are the last three because you guys know I love a good dark lip too, you know? But thank you so much for hanging out with me and asking me to review this. I love you guys so much. Thank you for all the love and support you always show me. I love you guys so much. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, click the button right there and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.